New week, ladies and gentlemen. New week, new opportunities. Let's do this. Come on now. Oh man. Oh man. Got the tripod. Whew. It's chilly. It's chilly in Denver. Who else out there has to sometimes get uh so who else out there has to sometimes get uh, dressed into the running clothes after work i know i do quite often it's like you know if you don't have a gym membership even though i do but if you're not by your gym or if you're not by your house or you just gotta get you just gotta get changed you gotta get in your running gear it's like especially when it's cold out boy Woo! Can you see me? Can you see me? Okay, I'm just stretching out here in a plaza, uh, downtown Denver. Nice run, six miles, 10K, was feeling solid, felt great. The legs felt a little faster this week to start the week. And uh, okay, so what was it? 7.15 a mile, about 4.30 per kilometer, 4.30 per kilometer. And uh, the Zante 4s are nice at this kind of pace. The Zante 4s from New Balance, and they actually felt similar as far as striking on the forefoot to the on cloud x shoes from yesterday I, I ran like nine minute pace yesterday in the on cloud x shoes no no good no dice they did not feel good at that speed so anyway the zante fours felt nice okay I, I, I gotta zip back into work and then we will resume the rest of the vlog here in a little bit all right let's go come on and, and why not, and why not? A tip of the day, tip of the day. I like to have little bags inside my big running bag. So this bag, this green one, is holding all of my gloves for winter, all of my winter hats over here, and it basically just helps keep everything uh, separated within the bigger bag, and it really does help for organization, and I'm just so happy we're not hockey players, because can you imagine hauling all that equipment around as a hockey player? No, I cannot, no, I cannot. So I just love, uh, I just love keeping things Organized. Oh man. New Balance Zante for New Balance Zante for treated me really well today. And quite a few of you on Strava have said that this is your favorite running shoe. So anyway, thank you for chiming in on Strava. Okay. Shout out. Ronin. Thank you for the letter. P.O. Box 1972, Ronan's basically asking some questions about training and giving me ideas for future vlogs. That's amazing, Ronan. Keep it coming, everybody. 1972 down below, and I would love to get mail, and I will write you back. It might take me a little bit of time, but I will write you back. All right, moving on to yesterday's question of the day. Basically, I was asking all of you, what other running YouTube channels do you watch? And like, what are your favorites and why? Well, I'll just, I'm just gonna mention a few of them, mention a few of them, and it's awesome because there's so much, there's a lot of overlap happening, I'm, I'm reading in the comments, and just so much overall support and enthusiasm 
from all like all the runners out there that tune in to all these different channels and I feel like we have a nice strong tight knit community here on YouTube. So here's a few of them. Uh, Billy Yang, Trey Runs, Jamil, uh, Forrester Dean Runner, Oakley 450, Gwen Jorgensen, CJ Media, 40 Runs, J Jamie, Kofuzi, Ginger Runner, Sage, Dan Whitehead, Ben Parks, uh, Ben Barrows, CC Runner, and the list goes on and on and on. I can, and that was not all of them, by the way. Um, and so, anyway, I just wanted to mention all those. Thank you for basically chiming in and letting me know like what you're enjoying watching and and obviously I think every single channel has a unique niche and is good is like has their own style that's what I meant to say it has every channel has their own style and I like that I don't see too much repetition uh, in the YouTube running space obviously there's gonna be a little bit because we're filming running but anyway good job thank you for chiming in okay oh, keyword decision i've made a decision i've made a decision may 19th may 19th first marathon what's it gonna be the cleveland marathon oh baby okay it was really hard really difficult to figure out it was it was it was a lot harder than i expected basically yes i'm hoping to run under 219 i'm just gonna say it i'm just gonna say it and i know that's really fast can I do it? I don't know. But if you don't try, you'll never know. You'll never know if you can qualify for the Olympic trials if you don't try, if you know what I mean, all right? So we're gonna try, and basically I wanna make probably two attempts, maybe just one, but if I need two, that's fine. So the CIM is the Sacramento Marathon in December. So that's, you know, 10 months from now, 11 months from now. And so I want to try and get one under my belt before CIM and because I've never raced a marathon on the roads and I want to, you know, the more you do a distance, the better you get at it. So Cleveland it is, May 19th. If you live in Cleveland, let me know down in the comments or anywhere in Ohio. Let's We're going to have a meetup party. You better believe we're going to have a meetup party after the race. And a shout out to, uh, I believe it was Guitar Guy in the comments. He said this. Come, yesterday, come to Cleveland. I have only run the 10K here, but from everything I have heard and read, it is a very flat course. That's good news, good news. Also, there's plenty of inexpensive places to stay in and around the city. That's also very, very good news. So thank you for that comment and just your insight. And I'm excited and why did, so what factors went into my marathon decision? Elevation is probably the first one. It's got to be, you know, as close to sea level as possible, which Cleveland is, is close. It's pretty close. Uh, so sea level, the course, so flat as possible. Um, the competition is a big one. So the course record for Cleveland is 210. So that's good. It means it's a pretty fast course. Last year's winner ran 215. And then the second place was 216, 216. So bottom line, I don't really want to win a marathon, and I was looking at the Illinois Marathon in Champaign, but the winner last year was 222-223. I, you know, it's, it's a flat course, but that tells me that maybe the competition is like not quite, I want to be chasing people. I want people to, to run with the entire time is what I'm getting at. So that's a factor, and then also, of course, family life, work life, I've got to balance all of that. And also the train lastly the training blocks. I think this is gonna work out better for my overall annual training plan. Remember how to write a training plan? I made that vlog upper right hand corner. And basically, like one of my peak races for 2019 is the Pikes Peak Ascent. And that race, okay, I'm really excited to run my first marathon. I am probably one and a half times more excited to run the Pikes Peak Ascent in 2019. Like, it gets me just jazzed up just thinking about it because I'm really, like, mountain running is my strength more so than, like, really fast marathon running, but I want to give marathons a try. Bottom line, Cleveland is going to give me more time in my second training block leading up to Pikes Peak. So instead of grandma's in June, I would have only had two months of training leading up to Pikes Peak, but now I'll have a solid 12 week, a little over 12 week training block from Cleveland to Pikes Peak. That's like, oh, oh, it's, it's almost spot on. It's really almost spot on. And then after Pikes Peak in August, I'll be able to 
take a little downtime and then if we'll see what what happens in Cleveland but if I decide or need to run another marathon for that 219 I will go out to CIM in Sacramento in December does that all make sense I know I just tossed a lot at you and I'm just jazzed up that I finally made a decision and it trust me I was researching and researching and looking at you know results in like sea level and fast courses and oh my goodness at the end of the day decision is the key word because you got to make a decision in this world and you gotta you gotta fight for it you gotta like you, you can't be wallowing in the mud forever all right okay question of the day this is a little different topic but it's a good one what and i'm going to try and ask as concise as possible what questions of the day would you like to to ask this youtube family so moving forward as i am dialoguing with all of you and we're dialoguing together down in the comments what would you like to learn and absorb from everybody else meaning like you can guide and give me ideas right now for questions of the day in the future so ask down below what would you like me to ask everybody down the road does that sound good does that sound good okay we're gonna call it there tomorrow could potentially be a big mountain day i'm gonna go and try and find mud and snow and uphill for those solomon speed cross fives oh i'm probably gonna have dreams about them tonight because they're just oh i cannot wait i cannot wait Whew. all right now i just gotta calm down drink a little tea and sign off with seek beauty work hard and love each other Mm, Cleveland. Isn't there a song about Cleveland? Anyway, see you tomorrow.